Welcome back. I am a friendly pest. Today I'm playing Into the Radius, playing on a Meta Quest 3, streaming this from my PC over virtual desktop. Today is going to be a good day because we're back. It's 2024. Played a lot of different games. Bounced around to a lot of different games. Some of them I shared with you, some of them I did not. I was bored. None of the games hit like this game. So I'm back. I tried a lot of things. I tried a bunch of MMOs. I tried Boulder's Gate 3. I played a bunch of other VR games. Uh, some standalone, some PC VR. Just nothing quite like the Radius. So we're back. We're back. Hopefully at some point a game will come out that actually holds my attention the way this game holds my attention. That might be the sequel to this game. For now, this is still my favorite game, and I miss playing it. I bounced around to the other ones. Some of them I even convinced myself that I liked some. Once, like, streaming more conveniently from the Quest 3 becomes a thing, I'll probably try to go back to some of those and share them. For now, it's not worth the headache. And I missed this game. I missed this atmosphere, I missed this gameplay loop. I missed this world. I missed hanging out with you guys. So I'm back. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Somehow, I was able to keep my save. You know, shout out to Steam Cloud Saves because I had to reformat my PC and set everything up since the last time I made a video. I thought I heard something, but I guess not. Anyway, I believe I was trying to go to the village, get some documents. That's what we're going to try to do today. This looks amazing, by the way. I went back to my Quest 2 the other day. I've been playing walkabout mini golf with my wife. And I have to like put that headset on to set it up. And nothing against the Quest 2. Like, I had a ton of fun with that device. I'm not going to trash on it. But once you've got used to the Quest 3's, like, improved lenses and controllers, man, it's hard to go back. It is hard to go back to that headset. Get some performance stutter here. I haven't played this in a long time. It's probably, like, reloading all the shaders. Nothing aggroing, though. Let's see what kind of loot we can find. Hope you guys are well. It's 2024 now. I didn't do any holiday content at all, which I regret. Oh, let's see. Nice. I regret somewhat that I didn't do any holiday content. I didn't really have anything that I wanted to cover. So I'd have been just doing content for the sake of doing content, which has never been my thing. 
So in that way, I don't regret not doing content over the holiday. Just as good a throw as ever. Let's see if I can get my knife back before we move on. I don't know. Must have went down there. Just leave it be. So I tried. I tried quite a few games. I guess I'll talk about it a little bit. I tried Assassin's Creed Nexus. I like the stealth parts. I like the world. It's got a weird, like, jutter on the Quest 3 that I find very uncomfortable and very irritating. Uh, I saw several other content creators kind of gloss over that, like they weren't really bothered by it, but it was a big deal to me. Like, to me, it made the game kind of unplayable. Which is really a shame, because outside of that, it's a very cool game. I mean, mostly. I do also think that it has like the worst melee combat I've ever experienced in a VR game, at least of one that had the expectations of being good. But again, it seemed like most content creators didn't care about that, so maybe the problem is me. Asgard's Wrath 2 seems pretty good. I haven't played it enough to know if I really like it. I do like the melee combat. Kind of like the first one, when the game started to get rolling, I bounced off. And that's really what happened with the second one as well. This is going to be busy. There's one up there, there's one down there. This is too far a shot for me. Maybe he didn't like notice I was shooting at him. Trust this bro out here. I haven't played this in so long. It still has like the absolute best gun mechanics of any game I've played. It feels so good. I'm so excited about the sequel. Four player co-op they're saying. That, that is gonna be amazing. Are you gonna aggro? Came back here because there is a stash. Get the stash and move on. I don't really want to clear this. I want to stick to the mission. I want this to be short today. I haven't, uh, haven't even set up my editing software again since I reformatted, etc. I got to recover all my files. Like it's been a thing. Couldn't remember if I'd gotten this yet. It's like it was worth the trip. Nice. You know what? This is an emergency. Uh, there we go. There we are. Now we got a panic pistol. Try to get through here and go. It does feel good to be back. And I've decided to not really change much about how I do my content or operate. Other than the fact I probably will not be experimenting too much with too many games. Um, as of the time I'm recording this, the Unreal Engine VR Injector mod has finally released for PC VR, um, which allows you to play Unreal Engine 4 and 5 games in VR, even though they're not VR games. I have experimented with that some. I have not experimented with enough to have a strong opinion or be able to make any kind of informative videos. But if you're interested in it, I'll put a link in the description of the guy that I've been watching his videos on to learn like the button mapping and setup and stuff, like input configurations, whatnot. 
I'll put that link in the description so you can check it out. I think his channel was Steve Knows. He's got like 70,000 subscribers, so he's doing good. He's doing good. Anyhow, I'm not used it enough to have a strong opinion. I played a little bit. I've been playing a Warhammer Bolt Gun with that VR injector. Success. Warhammer Bolt Gun, by the way. Super fun, like, boomer shooter, I guess, but with kind of modern controls, and it's excellent. Plays very good, uh, both just regular flat screen, and I would say it plays pretty well in VR, but there's some stuff I gotta figure out. I'm getting like a weird head shake uh, that's kind of uncomfortable that I haven't figured out how to tune out. But it's not a VR game, and I'm able to play it in VR, so that's cool. Then I need to mess with it more and figure that out. Anyway, I'll talk about that stuff more when I know more. I don't want to have any strong opinions because I'm figuring out the mod and the software. Stuff like that won't be quite like ground up VR experiences. But it should still, uh, still be cool to be able to play a lot of these games with six degrees of freedom and a VR perspective. We're going to go ahead and save real quick. so rusty that I'm probably going to get killed. And I plan to kind of go in hard up here. Really just want to get the documents, unlock the shortcut today, get back home, call it a successful day. My first video back after a long layoff. Let's not get too crazy. Hopefully you guys are happy to have me back uh, as much as I'm happy to be back. I missed creating content. I missed airing my thoughts with you guys. Had a lot of like crazy stuff happen right at the end of the year. I'm alone. He's not gonna leave us alone. Oh, he didn't aggro. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Stay away from the cloud. Stay away from the cloud. Beautiful. Let's bring him out. Like, right at the end of the year. Family health started kind of going sideways. And it's really affected. I would say I've always had a perspective that was uncomfortably focused on the horizon. Instead of living in the moment, enjoying things, I've always been more worried about tomorrow than I was focused on enjoying today. That has been worsened by the recent family health problems. You know, my family kind of had to... We kind of had to dig in to make it through 2023 there at the end. Not me personally, I'm okay. This is going to be exciting. Let's go. Surprise, pal. Dang it. Not exactly clean. We're getting through it. Get the documents. Good Okay. Alright. 
in a thing already. I don't feel bad about it. Like I'm missing some shots, but I haven't shot in a while. Uh, I don't feel that bad about it. Back to health. My health is definitely like the worst it's ever been in some regards. But I'm alright. That's not what it's about. Family, though. We're going through some stuff. A little, little bit while we're here. We'll see how it works out. We'll see how it works out. But, like... Take a moment to remind yourself that there are things that you take for granted in your life. They're both within your own health and the people around you that you care about. And sometimes you wake up and that's changed. And there's no going back. So take time to appreciate the things that you have come to take for granted. And take time to take care of yourself. Because you just never know. You never know what tomorrow's going to bring. We're still kicking. We're still kicking. And I'm grateful for that. You know, none of us asked to be here. None of us really know what to do. Like there's a few, I feel like there's a few people that kind of figured out what they want from life and who they are. And they are so fortunate. They are so fortunate that they can dig in on that. But there's a lot of us that kind of float from thing to thing. And we don't really know what we want and we spread our attention wide. It's not very productive. So, if you're one of those people that knows what you want from life, that's awesome. You're halfway there. Now you gotta do is dig in and make it happen. Some of us are still figuring it out. And I'm getting too old to be in at the figuring it out stage of my life. So, this year, my resolution, so to speak, is to dig in on several specific things and see what I can accomplish. Like, imagine how far you could go if you concentrated on what was really important, what you really wanted to do, what you really wanted to be. That's what I'm going to try to do. And overall, my life is pretty good right now. And I'm grateful for that. But I need to concentrate. I need to concentrate. I'm getting too old. I'm getting too old. You guys think I'm joking? I am so old. I am so old. You guys think I'm messing around? I'm not. I'm not. I gotta concentrate on what matters and see how far I can go. Let's hear Katya and then we'll search a couple more houses. We'll get out of here. Old people without family to take care of them used to live in the city. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. I knew one of them. A woman. One of my kindergarten teachers. She retired and moved out of the city just a couple years before I finished school. She could have retired earlier, but she loved working with children. So she kept working till she couldn't be on her feet so many hours of the day. I don't think she had children of her own. I used to visit her at the kindergarten and later out here. She was hunched over and wrinkled, but as commanding as ever. I wonder what happened to her. She died, bro. Of course, but how? What were her final thoughts? I hope Probably she that she peace. didn't want to. No one deserved it more. Probably that she didn't want to. I think that's going to be my final thought. I 
knows? Who knows? Goal is to live forever. We'll see how that works out. I'll say this. In my experience, I've spent a considerable amount of time worried about things I could not change. Came towards me. With the unyielding march of time. Relentless. Most of those things, though not all, when the time came that I actually had to face them, somehow my biology had prepared me so that it would not be as bad as I had always dreaded it to be. Hopefully, when my time comes, it will be similar. I don't want to think about that. I spend too much time thinking about that. Yeah, I forgot about this stash. Let's go. I love how this is considered a stash. Like, I have a couple boxes of ammo and a couple magazines. Nice. That'll get me, uh, you know, by for five minutes. All right. Come on. Game's still a little janky, by the way. Oh, nice. I'm not going to take time to pick up that ammo, though. Let's go home. Let's go home. Enough musing. Enough musing. Feels good to be back. I think I'm going to stick around, too. And do a video a week or so. Depending on what strikes my fancy. Come on, bro. That's somebody I want to introduce you to. Anyway, awareness is really turned down in a way that I kind of like. We made it back. Shout out to the devs that make this game. This is still my favorite game. When the sequel comes out, you have my purchase right now. Can't wait to see what you've done. I can't wait to play this game with my friends. Shout out to, shout out to my friends. Teak Studio, my name is Spike. Everybody in the Discord actually. It's been so long since I paid attention to the Discord that I'm having trouble pulling up names, but you guys know who you are. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't care, I'm just having a hard time. Dracula and Camden and Nerd20 and Kai. All top level blokes. That's what they say around here. Good dudes. I have enjoyed your company. Now that I got my uh, motivation to make videos back, hopefully you guys still have time for me. That's fine. We're going to sell this stuff. I'm going to keep most of it because I don't have much gear yet. So we'll keep a lot of this stuff, even though it's not super useful. If you got a guess as to the value of this small pile of stuff and things, you got a number in your head? Was that your number? Because that's not a very big number. But it's okay, because we don't need it right now. 74, 28. See, we're still at level 1. Headlamp at level 2. I think we're getting ready to get level 2. Probably buy a headlamp. But at this stage of the game, you don't need a whole lot, except patience. I forgot I had another quest. I should have done that while I was out there. Security level two. Let's go. I thought there was a note for that quest, but apparently not. That's okay. Set Teddy down inside the shack. When I logged in, my inventory was full of stuff and things. I just threw it on the concrete pad and started recording the video. Then I have a ton of time. Imagine that. So I gotta organize that stuff too. I just realized that Teddy's got some weird, like, little shards of something. 
That's interesting. I never noticed that before. But it's intentional. I think. No, I can see through Teddy. You can see the color through that. So that's either like an error in the modeling, which isn't present in any of the other modeling in the game, so unlikely, or an intentional design decision to leave these see-through holes. Very interesting. Keep the watch. Keep the watch, Teddy. Okay, let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. It's been fun. First day back. Welcome to 2024. I hope you had a good holiday. I hope you spent your free time with the people you wanted to spend your free time with. I hope your life is going in the direction you want it to go. I hope you're able to focus your attention on the things you want to focus your attention on. I wish you all health and happiness going into this next year, which is certainly guaranteed to be a wild one. But hopefully, hopefully a good one. Because it feels like things have been rough since like, I don't know. Feels like things have been rough for like seven years, right? Something like that, maybe more, I don't know. I like to see things turn around, go the other direction. I'd like to see more happiness in the face of the people around me. I'd like to see less homeless on the street suffering every day in their own purgatory, their own form of hell on earth. There's not much that we can do. Go out, be the change, you know what I mean? Make your little place in the world a better place. And you'll be surprised how that affects other people. And they will work to make their place a better place. And find friends that will hold you accountable to be the person you want to be. And you can hold them accountable. Help them achieve their goals and go further. Work together. You are the average of your five closest friends. And if you surround yourself with the kind of person you want to be, it will help you become the person you want to be. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this tiny channel. I look forward to spending more time with you going forward to 2024. Have a nice day.